Well, three cop cars pull over a West Point mother this morning as she left her apartment to volunteer at a summer feeding program. But the traffic stop turned out to be an elaborate plan to surprise her with her son's early homecoming from Iraq. Our Emily Arroyo has more from West Point. So, Emily, this was a first for the uh, police department, right? She has the on-air exclusive. Yeah, officers here at the West Point Police Department do traffic stops all the time, but they've never done anything quite like this. We got to tag along for today's big surprise, and we caught it all on camera. Fresh off the plane from Iraq with balloons and roses in hand, Army Staff Sergeant Solomon Robinson loads up for an early morning stakeout. West Point Police Chief Tony Bailey waited for Robinson's mother to leave her apartment, then gave the cue to other officers standing by. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. You guys, you guys just leaving, right? Yes, sir. Uh, about Bailey behind the seat of the PD. Was it, your car wasn't involved in a hit and run or anything, was it? That's when Officer Cameron Mitchell walks back to his car and hands Robinson his mother's ID. So, ma'am, come on, let me show you the damage that we're talking about. I found a little scratch on her car, and I said, you see that right there? That they reported that it was a little bit of damage. She said, well, that's been on there for a while. Okay, well, my partner's going to bring your license back in just a second. So. Yes, sir. Okay, so hold on for me. <laughs> Robinson has just two weeks before he must return to Iraq for another year. That is, if he makes it back. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. <laughs> he just got me. <laughs> I'm glad to see him now. This young man coming home um, after serving three deployments, uh, um, protecting us and our freedoms. I don't. I don't think there was a single request this young man had that we shouldn't, shouldn't make happen. It was a great experiment just to see her reaction and her happiness and joy and tears. Staff Sergeant Robinson will be returning to Iraq in a few weeks, but he's certainly grateful for the little bit of time he does have at home with family. For now, reporting from West Point, I'm Emily Arroyo, WTVM News 3.